Welcome back to Dinosaur Deep Dive, a series where we closely examine each creature known to Ark Survival Evolved. In today's show, come with me as we take a look at a deep sea dwelling nightmare that skulks at the bottom of the ocean for its next meal. A creature of such ferocity that trying to attack it without heavy reinforcements is suicide. A creature that dwarfs most land dwelling and sea dwelling creatures. This abomination is the Tusotuthis. The Tusotuthis, or Giant Squid for short, is one of Ark's most fearsome and powerful sea creatures. With its long tentacles, sharp teeth, and a beak-like mouth, the giant squid pursues and peruses the oceans, chomping down on the likes of any survivors that come into its territory. With its only real-life counterpart being squids of varying sizes, we'll use the animals in Ark to reference just how big it really is. The giant squid is capable of grabbing a fully grown mosasaur in its clutches. It can also attack the immobilized mosasaur, practically strangling the life from it with its tentacles. These creatures are not to be trifled with one bit. Now, the Tuzo Toothis poses one of the largest threats and challenges in taming, but once you have one, they become an unstoppable marine force. With the ability to spit ink from their bodies, it can be used as a blinding attack on enemies, or simply as a speed boost on an already fast creature. They can also attack with each tentacle, making the damage values they dish out multiplied by the amount of tentacles they possess and they strike with. They also have the unique ability to produce oil inside of their bodies. This is a helpful tool because tribes can utilize this ability to have unlimited sources of oil for fuel. Now let's try and get one of our own. This creature is by far one of the hardest to tame without a dinosaur to help. It is attainable solo, but you have to have the correct stuff. Because of this, it's highly unlikely that you'll be able to tame one without any of the following dinosaurs. With that out of the way, let's get into the gist of it. So when it comes to taming this behemoth, it's best to make sure that it's alone. You don't want multiple squids coming after you, especially the alpha variants. When you know the squid is alone, simply get your dinosaur that you have with you stuck in its tentacles. This is possible by swimming directly at the squid and getting the animal grabbed out from underneath your hands. When that happens, you have to swim into its mouth and feed it black pearls. Yeah, that's right, this terrifying tame is a passive tame. Now, depending on the server rates and levels of the squid, it can take very few pearls, or it can take many, many pearls to tame it. All that you need to know is that the mouth is where you want to go. So now that you have your squid, let's go over what exactly it can be used for. With its ability to spit ink from their bodies, it can be used as a blinding attack or simply just as a speed boost on an already quick creature. They also have the ability to produce oil inside of their bodies, and can also attack with each tentacle making the damage values dished out multiplied by the amount of tentacles they possess. And so there you have it. Everything you need to know about the Tuso Toothis, how to tame and utilize this prehistoric squid. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Dinosaur Deep Dive, and if you have, be sure to tune in Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for all new episodes featuring a brand new dino every week. Didn't get a chance to see last week's episode? No worries, I've got you covered. Check the end screen of this video or click the top right hand corner of the video for the playlist. Join us next week as we take a look at Aberration's adorable Bulb Dog. Thanks for watching.